All right, I'm back. Why you here? You should like, share, and subscribe. That's what you should do. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Ideally, that would be nice. And that would be nice. Anywho, I'm back with the uh, monthly. What's it called? Monthly reading portfolio. To see what's gonna be popping on. I think I told you that last night in the weekly meeting when I said that um, the energy to me was giving me that um, Seven of Cups reverse in the death. I said that's what Scorpionic energy was going to be like rolling into this season. I said it kind of was going to feel like um, it kind of was going to feel like COVID when it first necessarily started. In the form of like in a space of loneliness, looking for certain things, clearing out soul things, just kind of like dealing with the pressure of being revisited, old things, karming, non karmic, but in the kind of like in the form of where you have to be able to let certain things go. So that's just that overall. But we'll see. And keep in mind, y'all ain't gonna see it. This is the 22nd second of what. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm see you until the 22nd. Bam. Ooh, hair fun. Hair fun. Anywho. Overall move. The image that it was cut is hair fun, though. It could be like some teacher matters over there because maybe some of y'all may be going back to school. Maybe going through a little bit of divorce respect. Marital aspects. Ten of Pentacles. For some of y'all, y'all could be learning. You hear me say how to do businesses, learning how to do certain things differently. I would say that. Judgment. There we go. Clearing out those uh, army style relationships. Damn. Okay, what we got? Ooh, all right. Three of swords to start in the night of wands. Eight of pentacles, two of swords, and a hair front. Oh, y'all know what I'm going to do now. Five of Swords, Queen of Wands. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Ace of Wands. I mean, Ace of Swords, girl. And then we got Lovers and the Four of Swords. Can I say that again? Ooh. Oh, keep in mind, it's just the energy reading for the month. Whatever the case might be, like, just give you a filler of things that necessarily go on. So, say, for instance, like, you be looking for your sign and some necessarily don't hit. But at the same time, you get an overall kind of like, what is this madness I taste in the air? Overall, I'm moving that forward sword. That's what you hear me say, that rest, relaxation, but it could be some worry that's based around this car. Forward swords to me sometimes get that it's like something that's hidden in the mind or the subconscious that is kind of like buried really deep that somebody doesn't necessarily talk about or it could be in the form of like speaking up or getting to know. I told you normally when I see this, this could be things that somebody holds over other people's heads. I know this could be considered like victory, like the awards, the same, like all the people that you necessarily accomplish, fights, dominating certain ones. But four swords could maybe the one that don't got it here. Say that though. No. Okay, let's go. You got, no, shit, I was supposed to tell you I was on the bottom of the day. Moving through grades. Well, I have to show y'all when I finish. You got Ten of Pentacles. You got the Star, the Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. And I said for some of y'all, though, with the hair fund, this could have to do with building businesses or whatever the case may be. I would say that, though. If it has something to do with building businesses or learning about businesses, I will say if it's like some job, co-worker, building up certain things with the star energy, it's kind of like two people in the workplace. It's kind of like equally the same, but not. Because the Queen of Wands, I told you, this is somebody that would snuff your candle and be like, oh, no, it's no problem. I want this. And then you have the Knight of Wands that's like... Um, younger, the tenacity, it could be arrogant, it could be boisterous, it could be jealousy, though. So that's why I said it could be like rivalry or whatever the case may be that you could be experiencing. Okay, you got judgment. It could be young versus the old. Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was just going to say that, though. Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords suggest with the Eight of Swords that this could be something old. I would say that though, if it's like family type dynamic, it, 
I said Libra energy was gonna bring up uh, family issues. I told y'all that in the monthly. What I said, I said that when we rolled into Libra season. I said that though. For some of y'all, this could be some unresolved issues that somebody still wants to hash out. And going into you hear me say Scorpio season, where you hear me say bringing certain things up, like you gotta learn how to pick your battles wisely. You get what I'm saying? Because Eight of Pentacles reversed. That's somebody who doesn't want to pay attention. That's somebody who isn't interested. Put in the work to understand, to be able to move themselves from an idle position. So that's why I was kind of like, uh, sometimes it's best retracting your sword from a situation. And that's how you be able to alleviate and be able to move on from the, to a source position. But I thought it's just kind of like each person is one and the same. So, you know, Wands is just more with age, more, I don't know, it's just, it's, 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 it's a, it's a snuffing, it's a, it's a snuffering. Like, this has been mastered, this manipulative, cunning energy. So it's kind of like two people that's kind of like one and the same, ideally, though. So I say that it's weird. Some of y'all, this could be some family rivalry, sibling rivalry. Ugh. Mother, daughter, father, son. I said that a long time ago. Jesus, not today. Okay, you got three of tours reversed. You got hair front. You got five of swords reversed. And you also got the lovers. For me, that could be, like I said, just stepping away and stop being so emotionally invested into a certain situation because it seems like somebody's so gun ho on, like not listening or wanting to participate or put in the form of looking at certain things that they do or if it's working or environments or projects or businesses. It kind of looks like somebody's just not interested. I would say that, though. You know, you got like two diva personalities and somebody's like, no, no, it's kind of like that, though. So I would say that. But going back to the three of swords, the hair fun and the. Five of Swords reversed with the Lovers. For some of y'all, this is like being... Hmm. Somebody being married. <laughs> Why did I do that now? Um, for some of y'all, this could be having to deal with relationships. Though. I said, this shit is all over the place. I'm saying, that's what I'm telling you. That's, um, hear me and hear me now. When I say that Scorpio season is going to feel like the beginning of COVID where everybody was like in a madhouse fucking syndrome. Keep in mind that before we end uh, Scorpio season, that's when Thanksgiving hit. I told you, July really starts it because that's a lot of family holidays. A lot of people, I did it all. There's some people like, oh, I want to get married. Oh, I want to do surprise engagements and all these different types of things. So that's what I said. It's going to feel like a madhouse fucking syndrome. For some of y'all that's are in a relationship or thinking about marriages or stepping it up the next notch or going to school or learning. For some of you, this is just teaching you how to take the higher road because that's what the lovers is all about. Where you hear me say ascending past the 3D, it can learn how to be more loving of self, healing masculine, femininity, masculine and feminine, and the higher self of how you deal with you and others. So for some of y'all, this could be a reverse concept, I would say that though. But for some of y'all, it looks like somebody's on the opposite side of something. So I kind of feel that though. Because you know, hair fun sometimes can be roles reverse. So there could be somebody that's feeling their own fucking pain and it's saying, and another motherfucking thing. And it's like, uh, no. Or whatever the case may be. That's why I said be very mindful. On the bottom of the day, we got five of cups, the nine of cups. Then I say that though, the king of wands. And then we got the fucking justice. Emotional blame, karmic bias, uh, lack of accountability. An un it's not an equilibrium. So at the same time, it's kind of like somebody's looking for an escape boat or an outage. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Shit. Wait, let me put these down. I'm trying to show you. Because on the bottom of the deck, we got this. And then we got this. That's standing your ground. So that's why I said it looks like that, though, because justice can sometimes be somebody who doesn't take full accountability for certain things. It can be some unfairness. It can be in a place of where you hear me say some biasness or not emotional accountability, though. Like you hear me say, if it's coming from a family type aspect, if it's mother, daughter, it's kind of like one that's equal to the same. But you know how parents say, oh, where do you get the nasty ass attitude? It's kind of like, no, I got it from you. And they would say, no, I didn't get it from you. But it's kind of like I did. <clears throat> If it's like comments about dating or why you don't have this, why you don't have this, and you look around and you see they can't keep no man, so it's kind of like we want the same. You know what I'm saying? It's like we want the goddamn same. We are. Anyway, it's on my face, but it's not. 
But it's like we one and the same, though. For, for some of y'all, though, it could be like the self-reflection type process that you may be overlooking and trying to sit back and self-reflect, wonder, and be like, how the fuck did I get here, though? So that's what it kind of is like. I would say that, though. I think it's going to feel like a fucking madhouse. Ooh. We got Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Jesus, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Girl, what is it with niggas and money? I don't know. What's that about, though? But I'm telling you, though, I don't know if you're black or not and you watch this, but I'm telling you, like, this shit is so weird. Like, you hear me say, when it comes to the concept of money and financial type matters, of people learning how to be independent, or for the family type dynamic where everybody's always in everybody's business when it comes to money or looking or feeling higher than or just because money makes them feel like they can do, say, whatever. Like, ooh, girl, I see what y'all holiday gonna be like. It's gonna be all in the family. Ooh. <laughs> I see what y'all holiday gonna be like. Hey, go. It comes though, but I, I kind of feel like it's going to be some healing type aspects though, because Queen of Pentacles is a very healing type aspect though. With Age of Swords, I mean, y'all, this could be the way you speak, like you hear me say, the way you talk or communicate ideally though, or deal with certain situations though, because the Nine of Pentacles sometimes could be learning to go about to be independent or necessarily establishing on your own, because after the Nine of Pentacles, this could be Eight of Cups. So for some of y'all, though, it's kind of like where you hear me say, if you're learning how to do businesses or doing something different or in a workplace, for some of y'all, though, it's going to go choose your battles different. Choosing your battles wisely, I would say that, though. But it do look like the young versus the old. I would say that, though, old can be a little stiff. You get what I'm saying? Like, they could be a little stiff. But for some of y'all, though, um, I kind of feel like it's you. Choosing, <clears throat> choosing your soul is properly, though, like you would say, speaking. Ah, damn. Six of swords, though. What the hell? But I said that though. Eight of cups could be releasing. Let me get back to the reading. Let's wrap this dick up real quick. And then we're just going to pull from there. All right, okay. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Um, for some of y'all, though, this could be healing. Like, you would say the aspects of speaking or, like, spying or putting yourself in certain situations. Some of y'all have some nosy-ass family members or nosy-ass people in your life, and you're going to have to learn how to cut them out and create boundaries with them. For some of y'all, this is healing the aspect of when it comes to word, because a lot of y'all, y'all be in a position where getting mad and wanting to respond, and then if you're the queen of wands, you can't get mad if the knight of wands come up and, like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of, like, equally the two, because it's kind of like you can't say... Uh, when wrong is equally different. Like, that's the thing, though. But for some of y'all, though, letting the cups line up in the Eight of Cups energy, for some of y'all, this is like, okay, well, I need to learn how to be able to let go of unhealthy attachments to certain things and then be able to move forward. Before it's a Six of Swords situation, if you do walk away in a form of a being emotion fulfilled, I do see, like, it's some dredging up a whole conversation or returning back to those same states. So for some of y'all, y'all could, could be very conflicted, but you could be walking away in a style of, well, no, I feel this way, and it's still not necessarily hearing the person as you feel. You got four of pentacles, a magician, the justice, and the seven of cups. I would say that, though. Four of pentacles and a magician. For some of y'all, though, this could be dealing with some awakening, some understanding, a newness of perception, or it could be dealing with the loss of certain things. It could be the loss of power, control, the dynamic that a person has, or whatever the case may be. I kind of feel like it's a little batery because you do got justice in the seven of cups though somebody could be blinded by their own emotional bull crap like you hear me say this could be their mind frame their demented fogginess so i mean this could be sobriety type issues this could be somebody that's in a form of and when it comes to their emotions they could be emotionally blinded and only think about themselves so that's why i say it could be a person you could be dealing with somebody that if something goes wrong, it's kind of like, no, I can't ever take accountability because I'm too busy trying to find a way to cope or fix certain things. So I would say that, though, but if it's like a family dynamic, I can tell y'all, it looks like it's really going to get popular for the holidays because the justice reverse with the seven of cubs, that's somebody who could be in a financial position to be financially stable and look at what it is that they can buy and they can do. And they may be in this high and mighty bullshit to where they feel like they can say whatever the fuck they want to say or do whatever it is that they need to do. Um, let's go. You got Knight of Pentacles, <laughs> Six of Pentacles reverse, Three of Cups, and the Chariot. Ooh. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Chariot. Yep, I said that, though. I said that, though. 
There'll be some holiday form of birthday gift giving shout out. Happy birthday to a lot of y'all. This closing out that's coming on in. But Knight of Pentacles suggests that it's been like some slow process or whatever the case may be. I will say that though. So if you've been going through some argumentative type spat situation or whatever the case may be, I kind of feel like this person that's coming in to give or assist or offer something, it's in a form of, oh, let's just make this better. Like, does it make sense? Let's just make this better. That's what it kind of feels like, though. Kind of feel like there's a big hand in window. I don't know. Everybody's situation is different, though. But I say watch it, though. I watch it. We're really good thing. Okay. I'm trying to keep it chalk. Because then I got a label. Ugh. You got four minds in a straight. That's why I said, please watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Because full launch suggests like everybody's like house divided, everybody's working by themselves. Strength reverses could be more ego based, ego based pride, or it could be lacking confidence or overly confident in the form of when it comes to. So I say, pay attention to that. Like ideally, though, when it comes to these building relationships, work dynamics, certain people, because that is a form of like a building process, though. Because if you walk away, you learn how to be emotionally fulfilled. Somebody say, and another motherfucker thing, you return back. To that state of, of the environment or work because it looks like some of y'all may be leaving to be able to move forward so say for instance you was in the workplace you finna take some type of hiatus and then you coming back to necessarily return and you returning back to the environment though so some of y'all could be healing or working on healing or have this doo -doo 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 crazy personality and then it's like you coming back in the old environment sparks out a part of you or you sitting there like oh that's still like this it's kind of like that so that's why i said kind of looks like that though but for some of y'all though i told you the judgment is just necessarily removing your swords because we just got something to do with something old contractually or work it feels like it's still operating on the same fucking paradigm that's why i said with this knight of pentacles moving slow to gift to give the six of pentacles doesn't feel very genuine and then it comes with the three of cups with the chariot. And then after the chariot, if you're giving to apologize or necessarily gifting someone a form of blame or taking accountability, da 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 da, judging up the same thing, look at where it is. Because if you're still in the space of being emotionally hurt, it's kind of saying, no, I don't want to be your friend. Like, that's the weird shit, though. I'm saying, like, that's weird, though, how people be trying to make somebody feel. The one thing I notice is people don't. So that's why they always try to do shit to other people, whatever the case may be, whether it's an abuse of power or just trying, uh, I'm going to storm around, I'm going to have an attitude. It's kind of like, don't nobody give a fuck. And like when you stop paying attention to people like that, they kind of take their power away. Ideally, though, I'm telling you, though, when people who know how to be fucking mood killers, I would say that, though. It's honest, though, so that's why I said it looks like y'all family holiday is going to be popping. Emperor. Ten of swords. I say that. Um, no, I say it is. For some of y'all, though, you got something to do with getting a, a job, a work, a place, moving forward, something ideally, though. Whew. Power suggests that it's going to be a little bit of chaotic, though. I said that, though. Like, for some of y'all, y'all be trying to get where you need to be, but a lot of y'all, y'all could be physically drained or just around energy vampires. Or it could be texting, talking to you, or talking to others, like trying to rally the troops. You know what I'm saying? Like that form of it's like trying to rather the truth though. Because you got King of Pentacles again for us. It's like a controlling energy though. Okay. Yeah, I said that though. Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups. That's why I said stop. I can't tell you to stop though. I really can't though. But if you fucking with somebody ideally though, in a form of where it's like this off and on night. Uh, like at some point you gotta learn how to fuck get off the wheel. You gotta get out the rabbit uh you gotta start going down the rabbit hole and you gotta get off that fucking hamster wheel. Okay? You got seven of wands, you got the world, you got seven of wands, you got the world, the ace of wands, and the food though. I told you you seen this here. I said that though for some of y'all though, it's kinda like uh house divided, home divided. It could be certain people that come in and sow certain seeds. That's just chaotic. But I told you, ten of, 
ten of swords sometimes could be draining. It could be somebody that's a martyr that feels like so. Watch that energy though, because like that's resentment that creates resentment, or that's a bit narcissistic where somebody comes in and always wants to apologize, always wants to fix, knowing that it's kind of like what, what are we doing to fix the issue? Because it keeps happening and happening. It's not a change. You're just constantly fucking apologizing. That's not shit. And then wonder when it comes to builds this low resentment. But I kind of feel like if it's a work environment, some of y'all are in a cutthroat work environment where you hear me say it's very chaotic or whatever the case may be. That's why I say if you were bidding for some form of money or what it is that you needed, I think for some of y'all, that's why a lot of y'all go on the entrepreneur route with trying to fix or do certain things because it's not there. It was like the family type aspect when it comes to money. I kind of feel like it's going to be, oh, we're arguing over financial type aspects. Oh, I kind of feel like that, though. I said that, though, a lot of y'all been going through divorces or certain things, and it seems like the only thing that's left up is probably the house. The house where somebody probably wants control, splitting that bitch down the middle. I don't know who lives there or who not. Spouse support or child support where it's trying to come to a healthy medium though, but I kind of feel like that's the point of whatever the case may be where it's just going amok. Kind of feels like that though, because you got seven of swords and the four of cups. Let's look at that though. Seven of swords could be a malicious style intent, even if it's in work though. So if you've been wondering why you haven't got what you got, it's kind of like somebody full of shit. I would say that though, like y'all when y'all got a boss, a parent, person, they're really full of shit. They're really full of shit. And you got seven walls in the world. And I think a lot of y'all are just starting to uh, recognize that. Now, keep in mind, everybody parent doing like this, all right? You got ace of wands. And that's why I said, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I think a lot of y'all too busy focusing on looking at what was lost, what was taken, things that was taken out of context, certain, certain things, malicious ill intent. Because it's like... It's stupid, though. It's kind of like somebody who you hangs around or deal with, though. Like, why the fuck would you feel like you missed out on Seven of Swords energy? Seven of Swords is kind of like, oh, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to do this in the form of, if it's Ten of Swords and power, it's kind of like I meant this purposely. Yeah, I'm going to speak it to you. Yeah, I'm trying to cause chaos so you can be able to see that's kind of like those people that you got to learn how to be able to cut off and know when and when not to deal with you. So it's kind of like somebody just like that, though. Very self sabotaging energy. Somebody who could set battery traps and then at the same time be kind of like, oh my God, da, 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 da. like you always got to take accountability for somebody else's actions. I said, though, it's time to grow the fuck up, though. Say that. But um, other than that, though, I'm trying to fix my bun. Uh, I got to rewrap that thing. I really do. Go again. I really do. I'm like a cone. Dark though, but it's not dark. It's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. Anywho, but I say, yeah, that's scorpionic energy. What it's gonna feel like the month. Some of y'all may be trying to start a business, work on the businesses, uh, bidding for certain things, raises, um, anything that could bring you higher financial stability because you got paid your one. Woo! Capricorn energy. Five of Pentacles. Empress reversed. And the fucking six of cups. That's why I said this is somebody who comes and don't want to let go of their past. I would say that though. So that's why I said a lot of y'all that may be tethered with you, like learning to let certain people go, certain situations. They can't go with you. You can't bring them with you. It's old memories in certain situations. Like you got to. Because the five of pentacles and the different energy, like some of y'all are okay. Some of y'all insecurities or certain situations lead you to this devil energy, like when you feel like out in the cold or the streets, the shadow, the shadowy aspects of certain people. So it seeks to dominate or seeks to be in a form of control. And then say, oh, everything's all right, but it's really not all right. You're just starting new, a fresh, in a new environment, taking one toxicity to another. Whew. I digress. Anyway, I digress. One toxicity to another. Remember, that's why I say the whole purpose of Scorpio season is to work. Don't be so based on dealing with the same. Because you know some of y'all just be like, oh no. Don't be so based on the signs that you can't figure out your own flaws. Boom. <laughs> that's what I said. Some people be so busy. Oh no, but this sign and this sign. Like, yeah, so that's why I said don't. 
no, 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 Is it done for a second? What's the difference? Gotta give me some wigs, y'all, so I can be able to make my cameras. First card out, we got surrender to the vibe. That's a full moon, you know, in the form of where um, healing the shadow of the aspect is like rising to a higher power of understanding concept of mastering self or being in a form of connection with a, um, a deity, a god, a person but is also relinquishing uh, certain earthly realms type problems and learning how to be able to deal with them. Because you got the full moon, which is in Gemini, a form of releasing old paradigms when it comes to communication, understanding and thinking. Because this card, when I always see it, I say, the answers are coming, but are you going to listen or are you open to them? Like that X, you got the work through your fears, so bring love into the score, uh, bring love into the situation. That's new moon in Scorpio, that's new moon in Aqua. Then you got, oh, wait a minute, we got one more. Show the world the real you and a super moon. Emotions are running high, and then last card out. Luck is on your side. So, what we got? Ooh, ooh, and ooh. New poor super moon, no. Yeah, so that's why I said it's going to seem like in the month of where you're going to be like, God damn, I'm constantly giving, 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 or releasing, releasing, releasing. But it brings in a form of new, when I say a new you. Not talking about for its money type aspect. A lot of y'all, for its Christmas holidays and business and certain things, you may feel like, oh, I'm constantly buying this, I got to buy this, buy this. But you forgot holidays coming up. Thanksgiving, post-sale, Christmas, post-sale. Uh, tax season, post sale. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of things, ideally, though. So, it's going to feel like, oh, I'm constantly giving, giving, giving. When I say giving, that means giving away, releasing problems, certain things. And it brings in new, new. And it's a fool who shows you who you really are or what you really made of. And then you got emotions all running high from the blood, sweat, and tears. And then we go back to the new. That's what I said. That looks like, I'm saying, this looks like Madhouse Syndrome. It really is, though. But it took me a minute, though, to sit, have, sit down and process, like, what the fuck was going on before I had it. Because I was like, I, I can think about it, but I can't. But I was like, do I really want to? Because I was sitting in my room. I really do want to do the monthlies. I'm just being honest, because a lot of people sit on my damn nerves. They were, they are. Or whatever, because I mean. I say this though. So I was like, I don't need to do this shit. I kind of know. I really do. Alright, let's go. Do do do. Butterfly, that's why I said metamorphosis process going on. Let's see. Let's be real this still because I'm going to try to keep each side. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Well, I said uh, the only two chakras. No, we got. No, the only two chakras that we got out is the heart and the, and the heart and the crown. The heart is the only thing that's out of place, though. What they say, the heart wants what the heart wants. But a lot of times people resist on their heart. And I'm not talking about love. So if you a crazy psychopath or whatever, that's what I mean. Like, you don't know. I mean, you know, but it's like the heart's wrong with the heart wrong. So it's kind of like if you're in a situation that kind of feels uncomfortable, it's kind of like 
But the universe is going to continue to keep showing you that. Whether it's like your divine being, your love, or a situation where you feel tired, drained. It's called honoring those emotions. I think a lot of this energy just is being over the hump. But if you're so busy focused on trying to get and move so fast in the form of being swift, something can fall down in the cracks. Which is the oyster where you hear me say something that could be hidden in the form of. You have buffalo and you have tiger. Buffalo is a form of a spiritual awakening, but it also can be very forceful, or whatever case it be, some, for, some form of understanding that I was talking about. You have the tiger reverse, which can be a feminine energy aspect of healing those things, like learning how to love you again, being in a state of not to the point of where you're so protective over your heart because people have it backwards. If you protect your mind, you will know when it comes to love, ideally, though what it is that you want so the heart can be free flowing because i protect my heart i protect my heart you got a fucking rib cage around it. it's already protected your mind is not so that's why i said when you protect no honor the mind that's how you won't fall for those manipulative ass fucking game lying ass people da -da -da -da, tricking yourself so that's why i said the heart wants what the heart wants whether it's being free or being in a state of understanding or awareness. So we'll see how we bring the buffalo into balance. That's our that's our All right. Let's see what else we got. I gotta revamp this bond. Where, where is it? Okay, Buffalo, to bring into balance, when out of balance, it is restless and it lacks gratitude. It is grounded, and heavenly, practical. It's spiritual. Mm, I like that though. It's going over here to this fire and desire. No. We had 31. Oh, good time, man. Snap a little nice little sticky post on here. Bam. Uh, when the oyster is out of balance, it is reluctant, it is gripping, and it clams up. It is a patient secret keeper hiding inner treasures. Ooh, I said that though when a card came out. Show the world the really. real. To bring it to balance, share something that you only believe in a form of that cannot come back to bite you. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's what you do. Don't share nothing with somebody that you ain't comfortable with because then you got people out here who are prey on your vulnerabilities and insecurities and then you'll be around here talking about, no, I shouldn't have known. That's common sense. Just common sense. Just common sense. <laughs> Just common sense. Oh, just common sense. No, I'm trying to get to no, know. It's just common sense. Okay. Uh, when out of balance, it is overly stimulated. To bring into balance, this is a candle gazing process, though. When it is in balance, it is passionate. It is strong. It is sensual. Yes. And the golden egg, I told you that because uh, I told you about I had a dream about somebody doing like the fish pose. So it's kind of like if you're going through some block heart chakra type space or whatever the case may be, it's kind of like the fish pose. But it kind of does like Look, I'm thinking I'm sitting in my bed. I can't show y'all, but it's kind of like you put your hands under your ass and you put your elbows like this. And then you lean back, but you got to throw your head back. It's like, look. But uh, for some of y'all, though, that could be it, though. Trying to be more open. It said lacks gratitude with the buffalo, so you got to be able to be in a form of receiving and understanding. But like I said, if you're in the clam energy, you really just don't want to share. Don't share. You get what I'm saying? If you really don't want to share... Really don't have to though. You can honor that though. Oh, you ain't selling the people making no more. You really can honor that though. Oh, so I think that's what I might do. Get my 30 some minutes, girl. It's quick, swift. But yeah, this y'all energy monthly reading. I think I'm gonna notice this. Um I think I'm uh that's what I'm gonna name this. I'm gonna name this Madhouse Syndrome. Mm, yeah, okay. So let me read that. 